Hi, welcome back. This is finally a new part of my series in which I am baking something inspired by Greek mythology. Or maybe it's going to be some kind of spin-off series. I haven't fully figured out the details and future of this series yet, but you guys wished for another creative mythology storytelling kind of cake video and I kind of missed making longer more artsy kind of videos so here it is. The cake in this video is inspired by young Circe or Kirki in Greek. The minor goddess, enchantress and nymph and especially her journey of regaining her strength and sense of self while discovering the island of Ayaya where she was banished to. And while the stories and myths around her can also be quite dark, I wanted to focus on her first few years of discovering herself and her magic through her island, which she ended up making her home and source of magic. Also, nymphs in general, and especially dryads, tree nymphs, were another inspiration for me, even though Circe herself is not a dryad, but rather an oceanid, so a type of sea nymph, but I decided to not really include that in the design of this cake because from what I've read, it seemed like Circe never really identified herself comfortably with her oceanid heritage and rather discovered her own kind of identity. I am also currently reading Madeline Miller's novel about Circe, which I think approaches her story in a kind of female liberation and feminist perspective which I really enjoyed so far, so I can very much recommend giving it a try. So for this cake, I made another little illustration, visualizing my ideas and also noting down everything that kind of inspired me for the design. For example, gold glitter and a bright orange and peach filling for Circe's golden eyes, being the daughter of Helios. Edible flowers for association with plants and herbs through a witchcraft, a marble cake base and frosting for her ambiguity, not playing a generally good or bad role in mythology, as well as a tall layered cake structure for the island of Ayaya itself, with its mountains, hills and forests for Circe to discover. And now here's the recipe part of this video, so let's see these ideas coming to life. So I ended up making two cakes actually, one smaller one for the nymphs and one bigger, slightly more structured one for the island of Ayaya and Circe.
Well, I hope you liked the video. It was really fun doing another creative, longer format video. Um, I hope you had fun watching and have a nice rest of the weekend or week whenever you're seeing this. And see you. Bye.